Okay, okay, first of all, um, this is my second comment to this video. I'm going to kill the first comment. This is what happened. I made some statements that it wouldn't it be in this man's best interest to live and fight for his cause. And uh, wouldn't it be in this man's best interest to live for his daughter. I never once bashed his religion, him, what he believes, or anything. I'm only speaking from my perspective, and if I don't fucking know something about this man's religion, then I don't fucking know. Before you call me ignorant or saying I tried to bash these people for this religion, understand this, and this is what I believe. Let me tell you what the fuck I believe. I believe that this man didn't, shouldn't have to die. Don't, no man, no man should have to die for any cause, any belief, or whatever. If you got to fight something out, fine, you fight it out. And you do what you got to do to the end. But nobody should die for any reason other than for the preservation of life. Yes, this man is going to do whatever he got to do for whatever. But the only reason I see this man having to go to the fullest extreme for is that person. That person that he's holding in the video. The person he loves so much, his daughter. Now, I don't know about the war. I don't know why they're fighting this war or whatever they're doing, but I don't like when people watch a video and assume that I have no um, compassion for this man's plight or this man's religion. Shit, he is a fucking suicide bomber. That means he's going to die when somebody gives him the phone call. And you can see in the video that this man loves his child. So how the fuck you think I'm going to feel? I'm going to feel sorry for this man. I'm going to feel bad for him, the fact that he can't see his child grow up. But the decisions in which he makes to be a suicide bomber or whatever is his decision. And for that, I don't care. I made a comment because I felt sorry for somebody. I felt bad. I felt, you know, you know it's pretty fucked up existence that this man has chosen to do what he got to do and he got to miss something. He has to be away from someone who's definitely going to need them in this world. So, you know what? Whoever left that message to me, um, I tried to be nice and try to write something nice on the bottom of your page. But, uh, of course, you got your shit shut off so you can't make comments to people. You know, and people can't make comments to you. So, before you say, I'm bashing a religion, I'm trying to be disrespectful towards this man's religion, understand this. Compassion is what anybody should have, but to know somebody's willing to go die, and to know they got something to live for to, that's a shame, and that is what I meant by fool, foolish. This man is not a fool. This man is stupid. He, I mean, he's not stupid. He's doing what he wants to do. He's doing what he believes that he has to do. So, but if I was in his shoes, and I am not, my main preservation would be for that child that I'm holding in my video if I was him. And that is what I was saying. So, whoever this other person is who left that video thinking that I'm unsensitive, I got one thing to say to you. You have been tubed. And um, for this person and his child, his child's future, hopefully he won't get the phone call. Hopefully he can live long enough to see his daughter live her life. Hopefully, whatever battle or war, whatever he's fighting and willing to die for, cease. Hopefully he won't have to die. But people believe it's an honor to die. So if he wants to die, and he wants to be honored for that, then fine. If the people behind him don't have to do it, then fine. But for his child, let's give him at least that much respect and give the people who show their time to watch this goddamn video a little respect. And instead of uh, saying something faulty on the bottom of my comment, you need to say something faulty about the people who are commenting on this video saying foul things in the bottom of the comments of the video. I got the stones in my sack to say what I have to say because I don't think anybody should have to die for any reason. Oh, yeah, I think we should die. No, it's fucking stupid in my book. In my book. And I only speak for myself that I think it is wrong for anybody to have to die for any reason. So think about it. If somebody told you you had to die for this, that, or the other, and you didn't feel like dying, or you figured, you know what, I'm going to do this, so that's on you. But when you got somebody that you're going to leave behind,
don't show them person in the video and then have people feeling sorry for you and saying something like, you know, you know, hey, I wish this person, you know, kick and have it all. Even though I know mine won't. I, I, I wish the best for this person because, you know, of what he's going to do. Regardless of who he's going to do it to because I can't have nothing to do with me. But people are so fucking stupid when it comes to YouTube. You hear something and you take it in the wrong context. If someone says they feel bad for somebody and don't think anybody should die, then you take it at that. I don't care if this man is a suicide bomber or whatever or any religion. For, uh, if, if any, I don't care if he was any person. Nobody should have to die. If I had my way, everybody would live forever. And I'm probably the only person that would say that. Even my enemies should live forever. Nobody should have to die. Not this man, not his daughter, not anybody that, even though nobody should have to die. Not me, not anybody. Nobody should have to die. So for people to think that I'm insensitive to their war and their plight, I'm giving you my opinion. If a million people wanted to go jump off a bridge at the same time to see if the water level would rise, what the fuck that got to do with me? As long as they're not asking me to try to fucking swim with them, I don't care. But, you know, nobody should have to die. Period. Oh, you know what? There are reasons to save that child's life and to make sure everyone else around you lives. I would die so everybody could live. I would sacrifice for everybody to live. But I would not just sacrifice just to be sacrificing. I got to see the grenade hit the floor. I got to see the timer ticking down. I can try, I'll do it. I got to see the car speeding, it, it, you know, to the kids to jump to push them out the way and take the brunt. So if I'm gonna throw it all away, or if anybody should throw it all away, than it is to preserve life. And if he believes that he's dying preserves life, then that's his belief. His beliefs and my beliefs and whatever, whoever's beliefs is their beliefs. But no man, no man, not even a suicide bomber, should have to die. So if you want to watch this video, because this is a direct response to what you typed in the bottom of my fucking screen. I don't know about anybody's religion but my own. But I still think and I still believe no man need die. So, um, before you think I'm trying to bash this man, this man's family, this man's religion, understand this. How can I bash somebody? But if a, a big light came down from the sky and, and green guys came out of it and these two the green guys came out and they're spitting red beams out their eyes, I'm going to turn into the same man wanting to blow himself up to help me fight these little green red-eyed bastards or whatever the hell they are because that's how it is. In the end, we're going to need everybody. And this one last man might be the one person that we needed to get us over the hump. And nobody should have to die. So, you take your life in a chasm, and I take mine. You do what it do to make it do what it do to get what you need done. And until then, you have been tubed. Oh yeah, and by the way, let's have a moment of silence for everybody on the entire planet that have had to die or that have died. So everybody on this date that has died, we're going to give them a moment of silence. That was for every religion, every race, every sex, every one on the planet. You have been tubed. And especially the person that gave me that one comment. Tube you two times. Bye bye.